Hi, love and friends, and thank you for being here today. Today we're in the beautiful back country of Bella Coola, BC, and it's a beautiful, beautiful day. Today we're going to talk about the phases of ego, and which phase of ego are you measuring reality with. So stay tuned. Now what happens here is often the ego stagnates and sticks in a particular phase or phases and doesn't ever grow beyond. So we're going to talk about which phase you're in. So think about that while I'm, while I'm discussing about this today, okay? So the first phase is uh, infantile ego, which is, did I get enough? Second phase is adolescent image-based ego. Third phase is exploring ego, which is, am I learning enough? And four is the positive phase ego. Okay, so the first phase of ego is when your ego is brand new. It is what we call an infant ego, which is concerned with, did I get enough? Wonderful, fantastic, beautiful creation. Bravo to all of you. Brilliant work, but it went askew. Something went very wrong. And what happened is this. So when your ego is uh, new, brand new, it is what we call an infant ego between the time you're born and we call that zero and somewhere between seven and 14 years old. Somewhere, you know, some a little later, some a little earlier, somewhere between seven and 14 years old. Somewhere in between zero, let's say uh, 10, 10 years old, just to be on the middle side. We have what's called an infant ego an ego that's concerned with, am I getting enough? Am I, you know, getting enough attention? Enough love, you know? Enough time, you know, enough cuddles, uh, enough play, enough sleep, enough hugs, you know, enough, enough space, enough food, right? Enough sleep, enough protection, enough security, you know, enough belonging. Am I getting enough? That's a phase, right? And that's what the ego is out to be doing. And if you look at children, right? That's what they are concerned with. Do I have enough toys? Enough Christmas? Enough friends? Do I have enough food? Did I get enough? Do I have enough? Did I get the biggest half of the candy bar? Did I get this or, or that or what they got? D did I get enough? The infant's high ego it only measures reality by getting enough. But at a certain point, quantity isn't all that is, right? There is this thing called quality. You see people in your reality who are stuck in the infantile phase of ego. You serve dessert or pizza at a party, they want the biggest piece. Even if they are not hungry, they look around, who's got that? check what everybody else has got. What do they got? They got a big piece, they got a small piece. Oh, to make sure they are getting enough or they're getting the biggest amount than anybody else. They sit down, they look around and they see, hmm, did I get the best seat right here? Did that other person over there, did they have the best seat? Are they happier over there? Maybe I should go over there. Or no, maybe I should stay right here. No, no, they look happier over there. I should go over there and be sitting there. Or they are absolutely convinced they never get enough love. Teacher never listens to me. They don't get enough attention. Or they don't get enough money, or they don't get enough sex, or they don't get enough play, or they never get enough of anything tangible or intangible. Never enough. You look around and you see full grown people, like full grown even seniors. And they're caught in the infantile ego. You can go 80 years in your infantile ego. Their, bro their bodies are chronologically old, like old people, or even you know mature adults. But they're still in an infant age ego. They got the ego wise of an infantile. Stuck in an infantile ego of, I never get enough. And am I getting enough? Then they always want the most. They want the biggest helping, the biggest amount of attention, the biggest amount of love. They want the biggest amount of notice and the biggest amount of everything. Must be there, must be always. They always want the biggest amount any less than that 
is never good enough. Am I getting enough time, right? Am I getting enough cuddles from my partner and my parents? Am I getting enough toys, enough play, enough sleep, enough hugs, enough space, enough food, enough sleep, enough protection, enough security, enough belonging? Am I getting enough? Even if it is never good enough, right? Complain, compare others about it, never being enough, even if they have the biggest piece, they never ever get enough. How many of you recognize people like that in your reality? Or do you do that in your reality? The second phase of ego is the adolescent image based ego. Am I learning, changing, or growing enough ego? Now, somewhere between 7 and 14 years old, you move into the image based ego. Am I enough? Or am I good enough? Then you move into the next phase of your ego, the second phase of your ego, which we call the image-based ego. From infant ego to image-based ego, that's the time you ask yourself the question, am I good enough? Not that it starts when the other ends, somewhere between 7 and 14 years old, it begins, you know, your second phase between 7 and 14 years old, depending upon when the first phase ends or ended. Obviously, if it was ended at 8 years old, then it begins at 8 or 9, you know, etc. Somewhere between 7 and 14 years old, you move into the image-based ego. Am I enough? Am I good enough? So there are those caught in the adolescent ego. I'm sure you can recognize them in your society, right? Am I good enough? You know, you didn't compliment how I looked or compliment me enough. You know, you didn't tell me how great I am, how great I looked. You didn't tell me I look better than that person or look better than last time. You didn't give me more feedback. I need feedback. You didn't tell how good it was, how good was I. I need that feedback now. Indeed, look at most teenagers, right? Am I good enough? Am I dressed right? Am I popular enough? Am I included enough in the sports and this activity, these parties? Am I liked enough? Am I good enough? Is the house I live in wonderful and spectacular and good enough? Is my parents good enough? Are they cool enough for my friends to see them? Oh my God. Is the house good enough to have them come over? Or is it a crap and I can't have them here? I think I'm poor. Is the car they drive good enough or is it a broken down beat and they're going to laugh at me and I won't be popular? Is the neighbors good enough? I don't want them thinking I have bad neighbors. Is the place where we go on vacation good enough? Do my friends approve it? Do they approve it? Is it good enough? Always good enough. That is all that, that matters. In that sense, and that's all that is there because of image-based ego at the particular time behind, you know, around summer 7 to 14 years old and then somewhere between 14 and 21 years old. Also, you know, image-based is my clothes, my brands, you know, are they better than others? Look at me when I wear it, clean, no stains. And if the stains, <gasps> it's the end of the world. Status orientated, got to have the best things, got to have the most modern things, got to have the current trend, got to have it, yes, can't have last year's stuff, no, I'll look poor, anything in that sensing because that means I'm not good enough. You see people like that, huh? All the time, I see them all the time. Some of you shrinking in your chairs, maybe, people like that. Oh, he's talking about me. What, what are you talking about? That's ridiculous. Nobody's like that. <laughs> yeah, right. So that is the, the parameter of, of the ego when you move out of adolescence. Some adolescents, you know, move out of adolescence, you know, pretty young. You know, 16 and 17 years old. And some rather late, around 20 to 21 years old. Out there in your world. How many recognize people like that? Comments below. The third phase of ego is the exploring ego, which is, am I learning enough? And happens in adulthood. Okay, then you add in a third phase, 
okay, in that regard, what we call the exploring ego, um, which happens between, uh, let's say, uh, 14 and 21 years old, when the second wave to belong phase ends, okay, until you grow up. Some grow up very quickly, right? They're 14 years old, and they grow up at 18 years old. Some grow up at 16 years old, some don't grow up until they are 35 and 40 years old. And I'm sure you know people like that. I know I do. Somewhere between 14 and 21 years old, and when you grow up, not adults, but grown-ups, functioning on your own in the world, growing up, you know, that's what we call the exploring ego. Am I learning enough? That's the time my job and my am I having enough opportunity? Am I growing enough? Am I learning enough? You know, go to further advance my education. Should I? I don't know. I'll get a job. I don't know. The right choice for my career I need to know. Etc. Not am I getting enough? That's the first phase. But in the third phase, am I advancing enough? Am I being a good enough mother? Am I being a good enough, you know, father? Am I being good enough friend in that sensing in terms of being enough learning enough changing enough right it's often the time people wake up and grown up and uh, say I didn't do it good enough I didn't get enough I'm not learning enough I'm not growing enough I'm not changing enough essentially that stage of exploring ego then there are those who, am I learning enough? Am I growing enough? You are doing wonderful, yes you are, but it's not enough. You go to do more, when, you know, went through college, taking multi-programs, you know, and once you, you know, you took other courses, and you keep going back to school for more degrees, you're always in school, or am I going to take more on my job, or am I going to get another job, or more training on my job, I don't know enough, you know, I'm not doing it because I want to learn more, I'm doing it because I haven't learned enough, i got to be prepared, I make sure I have to learn enough. You see, there is a distinction. You're not saying you shouldn't advance. Advance. But why are you doing it? Am I doing it because I'm not good enough? Or am I doing it because I want to learn more? And those that get caught in that sensing, growing up ego, if you will, in that, am I learning, changing, or growing enough ego? Get caught there. And very few ever reach that positive ego of knowing I am enough. That's one thing that goes wrong in a skewed violence. Okay, now what is supposed to happen here? Just as it's supposed to move from infantile ego, no, I did not get enough love and attention to I got enough. And then it moves to this image-based ego, how concerned with this looks, and then it goes into I am enough. And then it goes into this exploring, you know, ego, you know, based ultimately to, to a positive-based ego. You know, your, your ego is supposed to mature, it's supposed to become wise, it's supposed to gain a certain level of positive growth and maturity. And, you know, it's supposed to get strong. Some may say, I got a strong ego though, Chris. No, you don't. The point is, you tell it. You pretend. And you try to convince everybody, including yourself, that it's strong. I see it all the time. But in fact, it's still very weak. It's supposed to get strong, mature, and wise. Our whole school system is designed to not let it mature. What is supposed to happen? Somewhere between the grown-up hood and adult hood, from between, you know, being a grown-up, someone who is functioning in the world by hook or by crook or whatever means in being a truly spiritual adult, somewhere in that phase you reach what we call the positive ego. The positive ego that says, I am enough. I am enough. I can get things. I can be things make mistakes, I can learn new things, from a position to want to know more, not wanting to have, to learn more, and therefore, I am enough. A sense of harmony, to balance, a sense of wholeness, 
becoming more. Which phase of ego are you measuring reality with? Number one, infantile ego, which is, did I get enough? Number two, are you stuck in adolescent image-based ego? Number three, exploring ego. Am I learning enough? And number four, are you in positive ego phase? Comments below. This is Chris Barr, Syrian and Lemurian Wisdoms and Teachings, Galactic Council of Life. Thank you for listening to me today.